This video is about an option you'll be able to have in Moodle 2.4 out in December where you can set an assignment not just for a single student to work on individually but for a group of students to work collaboratively and if you wish gain a collaborative grade. So I have a group of three girls Victoria, Cheryl and Kate who are going to work together on a fashion assignment in a Moodle 2.4 fashion course. As the teacher I click the add an activity or resource link and I go to choose an assignment as I normally would and I add the assignment name and description. For simplicity I'm going to choose online text and I want them collaboratively to type into the text editor some plans for designing a fashion show in London. If we take a look at the assignment settings, some of them are familiar. I'm going to highlight a few however. I'm going to set require students to click submit button. This means that when they're done with their work, they press a button to say that they don't want to do any more and they want you to grade it. This will change a setting in the group options lower down. There's also a new setting require that students accept a submission statement. If you've set this up on your Moodle site, then before they send in their work, they have to tick a box and promise that this is their own work. You can choose the wording for that in the administration. Then, if we go further down, we see that we have some new options for groups. So, I'm going to select that students will submit in groups. They can then work together on an assignment. I can also, because I wanted them to press the submit button, I can require that they all submit before I'm going to grade it. And so, I'm going to make that say yes. There are other options here but I'm going to uh, leave those for now for simplicity although blind marking is quite an interesting one which we can take a look at in another video later. So I'm choosing online text they're going to work together in Moodle's text box I don't want them to upload a file although it would be interesting for you if you have a play at this to see how that works when one uploads a file another one then has to delete that in order to upload their own. So now if we scroll down and save and return to course. We'll go and log in as one of the girls, Kate, Cheryl or Victoria, and see how it actually works. Let's grade it out of 10 and go and take a look. We're logged in as student Kate. And so if we click Fashion Show, the name of the assignment, we're given our instructions, design and plan a fashion show. We're told we're in the girls group and that nothing has been submitted yet. So as usual, we click the add submission button. And because this is an online text option, we get the text box. Now Kate can start typing into here and what she types will then be seen and be editable by the other two members of the group. So if we just scroll down and save those changes, We can now see that all three of them need to actually submit, although Kate's done hers in draft. So if she clicks submit assignment, this is where, because we set the option that she had to say that this was her own work, she needs to check that box before she's able to submit it. The administrator can set the wording for that. Then she clicks continue and she is done. So she's submitted. Victoria and Cheryl now need to do the same. So let's just log in as one of the others, as Cheryl, so that you can see how the group work actually operates. So Cheryl's logged in now. When she clicks the fashion show assignment link, she sees that she and Victoria still need to submit, but she can also see the text that Kate has just typed in. And so when she clicks edit my submission, she gets to that same area of text which she can then delete or edit or as she is now just add another sentence to it and then save the changes and again if you remember all three have to submit before I'm going to mark it so when she clicks submit assignment just as with Kate and for your security reasons she has to tick or check that box to promise it's her own work. Now 
once Victoria has submitted as well, she's the only one left, then we can go back in as our teacher and see how to grade this. I now see that all three members of the group have submitted their work for grading and so I can click on any one of them to actually go in and grade it. So I'm going to choose Cheryl and when I click to grade Cheryl's work I'm actually grading all of the work collaboratively. Because when we scroll down to look at our text box you see that if I click to take a look at all of the text all three sentences, each girl did one sentence, massive effort there, but they're all there even though I've just clicked on Cheryl's. And again, I can give it a grade, I'm going to give it 6 out of 10, and I'll also give a feedback comment. And then what I can do is I can either make that grade and comment fit all of the group, or give an individual one to each member. I'm going to set it so that they all get 6 out of 10 and the same comment. So when I click Save Changes, even though I went into Cheryl's area, you'll actually see that the same mark has been given to Victoria, so she has 6, and to Kate, and to Cheryl. So, as a group assignment, you can grade all of them or you can still choose individually to give them a different grade and that is group assignments in Moodle 2.4